This is the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to have a look at stack priority um, and how that affects uh, how the stack works. So, if we start off with a uh, show stack here, uh, we can see that my active controller is unit ID 1, I have a standby of 3, and I have a member of 2. So the active controller is determined by the priority, right? So um, by default, um, whoever you run the stack secure setup from in the first place when you build that stack is going to become, uh, by default, it's going to become unit one, but it's also going to have a priority 128 assigned to it, so it's going to be the active uh, controller. So the 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 possible priorities are from 0 to 255, 255 obviously being the highest, so um, it's going to default on that, on that guy to 128. So if we want somebody else to be the active controller, we can give it a priority greater than 128, and or if we want to designate who the standby is, then we can change the priority. So let's have a look at how we do that. So uh, if I do a show run here, um, we can see that unit one actually has the priority command of 128. So let's say we want to make um, unit uh, unit three the the uh, the active controller, right? So we'll go into config t. We're going to go to stack unit uh, three, and we'll give it a priority greater than 128. So we'll give it a priority of 200. So what's going to happen is. Um, it is going to, assuming you have hitless uh, failover enabled, um, if you have hitless failover enabled, uh, which is turned on by default in 8.0.2.0 and, and above, it's going to uh, it's going to fail itself over in 120 seconds. Um, if you don't have active failover turned on, which you should, but if you do not, then you can go out and do a uh, there's a stack switchover command. So we could do a stack switch over here and have the standby become the active or, or have the higher priority take over immediately. Um, but you should have hitless failover turned on. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, there's another video for, for that. But by default, it's turned on in 8.0.2.0 and above. So I happen to be running 8.0.4.0a. Um, so we're just going to have to wait the 120 seconds, and then we should see that happen. So. Um, so we see that there's an election going to happen in uh, in 58 seconds due to priority change, um, and so now we can see here's the here's the uh, previous priority right so 128, um, and then here is my new priority so it's currently in standby mode, but in 30 seconds or so whenever that switchover happens it's going to become the active, um, so here it says it's it's uh, now due in 30 seconds. So it's going to give you a 30 second warning, it's going to give you a 10 second warning, and then it's going to fail over. But the beauty of hitless stacking is it's really not going to make a difference, right? Your, your traffic is not going to uh, be disrupted during that switch over, so it's perfectly okay to do it. Um, so now we're down to 10 seconds. So 10 seconds from now we should see an election happen. We will see the active and standby switch over. So here's our election. Um, so it's saying the reason for that election is a priority change, right? So then, um, so this unit becomes the active controller, uh, and then uh, the uh, unit three uh, finishes the switchover. So if we run a show stack again, we now see that three is the active controller and one is the standby controller. Uh, what you'll also notice is I was in um, uh, I got I got kicked out to user mode because it switched over right so I'm not actually connected to unit one anymore I'm connected to unit three so when the controller went over the management also failed over so even though I didn't see that happen nothing nothing um, looked different on my console other than you know, instead of instead of being in enable mode, I'm now kicked out to user mode because it changed over. Um, but we can see that 
you know, that the, the failover completed, it completed hitlessly uh, for all the protocols, and it is now up and running. So um, we have an active, we have a standby, and then if I wanted to, if I wanted, say, unit two to be the standby controller, I could give it a priority of, you know, uh, uh, 199 or something like that or you know and I can also get rid of this priority if I did not want this to take over so if you have a reason that you want something to be prioritized over another then that's easy enough you just do that with the priority command um, and I strongly recommend you enable hitless failover okay that's it for today thanks very much